Hello everyone, back at Villeneuve. I just thought I'd show you where I'm up to. Um, not been filming very much just because Anna's been so busy up at the chateau, so I've had to help her a lot. Um, but here's what I've been doing, little bits and bobs here and there. So this is the uh, drive-in, it's now all jointed until the cement that I've done. So a lot of people were asking, why the rush? Why the rush before uh, the end of May, June? Um, the rush was because uh, we knew that once the season started it wouldn't be possible to um, to carry on as we were here so um, that's brought extra work with it but there's nothing we can do we just have to keep going and come whatever days we can come come so unfortunately my pool guy let me down not Bernard the uh, fiberglass another guy basically he was due to come and do the pipes and I've been waiting since February so I'm now gonna have to find somebody else to do the pipe work for me uh, in the filter room so that's a little bit annoying um, and along with summer comes grass uh, very long grass so I'm gonna have to do some strimming and clear up all of this area so being a little bit lazy, I've left the streaming um, the last few days, but I have been getting on with something else and that's starting to take shape. So literally take shape. So I'll, um, I'll show you that. At the front of the house, we're getting the kind of path and semicircle laid out. And this path is gonna go straight through the middle of the garden I'm going to walk down the path and show you exactly where that will go to. So, yeah, I'm not quite finished it, but we're getting there. So it comes to here, and then it's going to come across to this gateway here. So it's going to be a nice little walk-in for anybody that's on foot. Of course, if anybody comes um, in a car, then the electric gates will be their entrance round to the garage and last but not least we're inside now and um, you can probably see behind me I've advanced a little bit inside nothing huge basically we've got some of the rails up on the walls so that's kind of ready for the plasterboard and I shall show you what else we've done so I've just popped the uh, copper for the air conditioning or at least one of the air conditioning units and a cable in there and also uh, the drain off the aircon as well so i've done that there it goes all the way along here and outside here on the little terrace outside and then we've got another aircon unit going there and then eventually when i get round to it we're going to pop another one in this bedroom over there you can see we've got lots of the uh, rails around the room done so the next big job is probably going to be uh, popping the electric cables in ready so I can plasterboard and um, I've got the ceiling still to do so I mean if I'm a bit blocked up getting the plasterboard because if it's raining I can't really go and get it um, and we are due a bit of rain in the next few days so if I'm struggling on uh, plasterboard I can still get the the metal work done on the ceiling um, and then come back onto the plaster work after now we've just finished filming a vlog that's going to come up in the next few days isn't it Anna yes we did very exciting vlog and I thought we'd just add a little bit to tonight's vlog actually uh, we've, we've had something going on that we've not really been talking about haven't we yes that is true and um, before we go home, I just wanted to tell you what's going on opposite us. So opposite us, they create uh, Cremant de Bordeaux. So it's a kind of champenoise, method champenoise. So it's sparkling wine from Bordeaux. Really nice product. And they also produce our Anna Lagos, don't they? 
Yes, they do. Uh, which we use for our weddings. But um, a few years ago, they, they decided that they needed to expand their uh, stockage facilities. So right now, they're using the caves to stock a lot of the wine and, and to kind of elaborate the wine, they say. So that's like kind of making the wine whilst it's in bottles. Um, but that wasn't enough. The run out of space. I think they're producing something like two, three million bottles of wine a year, and at any one time they have a million bottles in stock. So around two or three years ago, they decided that they wanted to build a new stock area opposite our, our entrance. And um, I was like, oh great, they're going to they're going to do something really nice. And there they are. They put in planning permission, and it got turned down because of the caves underneath. Because in Gironde, you're not allowed to. Uh, in, in Gironde, you're not allowed to build on top of caves in case it collapses, the caves underneath. So I said to you, why don't you just take off the top of the cave and then the cave then becomes part of the building. Um, I said that to somebody at the Mary because they were saying they're in a real pickle, we can't get it sorted. And then two years on, come have a look what's going on. So you were the architect and the engineer that came up with the ingenious idea for how they could deal with this problem, Ed. Well, I've been long enough in France to know that you have to think outside the box to get things through when the French say no. So, we've dug down a hell of a lot. I'll let you go and have a look over the edge. It is, it is. I mean, a lot isn't even enough to say. Actually, Ed, I'll let you go, because it's like a crater. Yeah, you're talking about 10 metres down at the maximum. Obviously, this, where this guy in the yellow, uh, the, sorry, in the orange costume is there, um, you've probably got another three meters to go down. But there, they're kind of at the bottom there, where that truck is. And yeah, um, so we're we're the reason. I'm the reason that we keep getting woken up at seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Thankfully, they've been really kind to us for the wedding. So whenever we've had a wedding at the weekend, of course, they're not working. And then during the week, they don't they don't work when we have a wedding on. So, Which is quite good. Yeah, but I mean, look at it. It's a massive task. I bet something very unique. I bet you'd love to have a go at that digger there. Yeah, I'd have had it finished by now. <laughs> those, those who watched me create Mount Ted would know I'd have had it finished. Oh yeah. Well, this is a this is a very precise operation. Just interesting to see, but. Look at that go. And some of the stones here, obviously I was wondering whether they wanted to keep them all, but look at that. It is beautiful. Wow. So all of this was covered before to give you an idea. All of this was like, uh, well, soil. And then now, look at that. It is massive. The hole that they are digging is just unbelievable. And over there, is, over there is our entrance, Chateau Lagors. And this is, well, we're just opposite. You can see up there, this is all the, well, some of the soil that was covering all of this is just up there. And you can see some of the massive stones that uh, I think they're going to keep or sell. It would be nice to have some of those big stones, Ed, wouldn't it? Yeah, pretty, pretty nice stones. But you know what? Just realised my mic wasn't on. Oh no! Yours, yours will pick me up. But still. Hopefully, hopefully. If not, I'm just gonna have to. What is it like? Do the voiceover over you? My voice over your voice. Look at those beautiful stones. Yeah. So all of that, all the white soil and everything. I was on top of that. Yeah, all the, sp all the spoil coming off the dig is getting dumped up there and then they'll cover it back over with soil and it will look like it's just a hill. Yeah. How oh, nice. And they've actually, well, they've replanted all the trees. You had your there. eyes on those trees, didn't you? I did. I thought they were just going to let them die. I was like, do you think, do you think we could have them? Let's go, Anna. Let's go.
So I just thought of one little last chat with you, which was just to say, I know that you've all been waiting so much to see stuff um, going on here at Vilnab. Unfortunately, we haven't got a huge amount of work done here, um, which is why we've not been filming here, but we, we know how much uh, you all wanted to see Vilnab a little bit. So I just thought I'd pop across and uh, do a bit of filming. Hopefully Anna can, can get this uh, up on, um, on YouTube in the next uh, few days, something like that. So I just thought I'd left, leave it with one last little story that um, we have some really, really big fans that um, that couldn't wait for the next video. So they got on a flight from the States, they flew across to the, Europe and uh, came down to Bordeaux and uh, got on a tram, got on a bus and uh, came and had a little sneaky peek over the wall. So, uh, Mark and Al Benis, I'm um, sorry I wasn't around and uh, sorry we couldn't meet you, but uh, but that was a great little story, I think. Um, yeah, we will be back here soon, so, um, you know, just keep your eyes peeled on YouTube. As soon as we can, we'll be filming again. It's just very, very hard at the moment. We are struggling a little bit with, um, with work at the Chateau and weddings, um, and I'll go into that in a little bit more detail next vlog. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. So yeah, I thought I'd come down here for the last chat with you guys because it's one of my favourite places here at Villeneuve.